At the Great Lakes Water Authority, they produce the most important part of the blue economy, the water we drink. Cheryl Porter is responsible for overseeing the process of creating drinking water. Our industry is governed by a lot of rules, and those rules are laws. We make sure that we're following the regulatory standards in a way that you can drink our product. Most people don't think of their water as a product, but actually it is. And we are ensuring that throughout the treatment process, we are producing the product that is safe for consumption. The Great Lakes Water Authority provides drinking water to over 125 communities throughout the state of Michigan, almost 40% of the state. Since October 2015, one of those communities is Flint. The water crisis in Flint is the biggest story to hit the blue economy. Clean water is flowing to Flint from the Great Lakes Water Authority, and the focus is now on replacing the lead service lines that run into the city's homes. It's a massive infrastructure project that could cost over $100 million. I think that there's some exciting things that can happen as a result of what's happened in Flint. We've got to be responsible and fix this and get people the services and supports they need. Flint has an example of how to solve the problem just an hour away in Lansing, the state's capital. After experiencing its own lead water issues over a decade ago, Lansing set out to replace its lead service lines. Richard Puffley is the general manager of the Lansing Board of Power and Light. We brought on crews uh, added to our workforce in that area and we've started doing it and we've done about 13,500 out of the 14,000 lead services that are in Lansing. Uh, we're just over 500 left to do and we do about two a day. The project has taken almost a decade and cost over $40 million, paid for by a slight increase in water rates. Replacing the lead service lines in Lansing has been a learning process. We used to trench, that took nine hours and cost about $10,000. Now we do the directional pulling, we call it, and that costs $3,600. Lansing replaces its service lines by attaching a new copper line to the old lead one and pulling it out of the house. In Flint, they've adopted the same method. They call it the Fast Start Program. We partnered with Lansing Board of Water and Light so they could train us in this new technique that really takes half the time and doesn't cost as much. So now we're ready to move forward. It's estimated that there are 17,000 lead service lines to replace in Flint. Karen Weaver sees an opportunity in the Fast Start Program. A huge project like this could create much needed jobs in Flint. That's why we're trying to really work with Mott Community College and getting some young people trained, putting them in these apprenticeship programs so they can be helpful with that and get a trade as well. So I'm excited about this opportunity for us to hire some of our own people to be part of the solution to helping fix Flint um, with the Fast Start program. Cheryl Porter sees an opportunity as well. Our industry is something that's hidden. It's not like a, a fire truck in the street or an officer in a car. Our assets are usually underground and they're not readily visible. Before I became a part of this industry 20 years ago, I didn't think about it. So this is an opportunity for us to get the message out as to what we do and how we do what we do. For more on the Great Lakes and the blue economy, please visit greatlakesnow.org.